Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, Saudi Arabia beats Oman 2 to 1 in the second game of Group F, and in this game we have one of the uh, most curious uh, situations happened in Asian Cup history. So basically, there is a goal, the goal of Al Bulahi at the 96 minute with a header that gives the lead to Saudi Arabia. That uh, the first moment it was called offside by the assistant referee. Then there is a VAR inspection. And after the VAR inspection, where on the replay we saw that that was onside because there was a defender uh, behind the, the forward. So we thought, okay, this is going to be a goal. Uh, after the VAR is completed, the uh, referee goes for the VAR sign and says uh, offside with the, his hand uh, up in the air. And uh, so everyone starts to celebrate, celebrate in the Oman side and the goalkeeper uh, kicks the ball to restart the, the, the action but after like he uh, but the referee haven't finished yet because he gives the offside inside then the uh, like no after that it's like the red card no when they uh, cancel a red card so they say they after the VAR check they go and say red card okay it's gone and perhaps they give a yellow card or nothing and he, he he did that he did offside cancelled uh goal and so there was a moment of that no one understand understood what happened you see omani players and saudi players that were starting to to play other saudi players that they were celebrating the camera was focusing on the ball like uh, if we if we were playing again uh, but at the end it was I don't know I'm gonna check on the rule book what he says I, I usually I see just VAR goal so I don't know if this if this changed or it's it's every referee decides to do it in, in their own way but usually it's a VAR goal so I don't know uh, anyways um uh, it was a fun game it was a fun game oman went went ahead at the 14th minute with salah Lehi with a penalty kick and the ivankovic team was really good but uh, in the first half their first half was really better than the second one uh, in the second one they just really defended the result and when you do that against a team like saudi arabia that perhaps they have their problems uh, with Roberto Mancini still perhaps isn't clicking as they wanted to and uh, but Saudi Arabia is still one of the strongest teams in Asia uh, the stadium was full a lot of Saudi fans a lot of Omani fans as well and at the 78th minute there is a beautiful beautiful goal by Abdurrahman Gharib uh, he goes for a, a solo action that opens the scoring for Saudi Arabia. They needed that kind of goal. And then, as I said before, at the 96th minute, uh, Ali al Bulahi scores for Saudi Arabia, gives the win to Saudi Arabia. 2-1 to is the final result. Roberto Mancini gets his first victory uh, ever in the Asian Cup. I don't know if he's the first, I don't think so first ever uh, manager to win a game in the Euros and in the Asian Cup but anyways that was a really 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 important win for for Saudi Arabia so let's check the standings a second let me uh, just move the camera here so uh, we have uh, Thailand that is in front because of goal differential uh, they, they get uh, three points with two goal scores and zero against Saudi Arabia with them with one goal against and two scored Oman and Kyrgyz Republic at zero with one goal scored and two against for Oman and no goals scored and two against for Kyrgyz Republic in these group anything can happen so there we are the favorite to top this group but uh i think I mean Saudi Arabia need to stay focused and they need to understand what to do and Roberto Mancini needs to understand what to do with this team uh, because we have seen two completely different national teams in the uh, two completely different Saudi teams in the first half and the second half we have seen a lot of different combinations uh, during friendly matches different kind of style of playing and I don't know uh, they really need to find 
what to do but certainly certainly this win was very important for saudi arabia oman they can be a really, a, a really good surprise in this uh, asian cup uh, they shouldn't uh, really focus on what happened in the end of this game and uh, i think if they focus they have the abilities to go on a deep run anyways that's pretty much it for this video thank you all very very much for watching and see you soon